Welcome back to Barn Built Beaters. In the last episode, we converted a horizontal bandsaw into a vertical bandsaw to help us with this process, which is this video's topic. It is boxing in the channels that we cut out a few videos back. What I've already done off camera is I boxed in this frame rail. So I will show you how I did that on the other frame rail as it's the exact same process. And you can tell the quality of my first cut between my second and third cuts. The second and third cuts are cut with the horizontal bandsaw. The first cut is cut with an angle grinder and a sawzall, so uh, you can just tell the quality. It doesn't follow the curvature of the frame rails as well and just doesn't fit in there quite as nicely as the other sections did. I already took care of some stuff off camera and that is these chunks. We have to weld these chunks back into the frame because I messed up and I actually cut back a little bit too far. So we had to take a little bit more out up front, which lines our bed up perfectly with our wheels. So I already dressed the sides and the sides of the frame rails so we can weld these back in and get that started before we start boxing in these sections. We just finished welding in these chunks where we cut out too much too far back and now our channel should be in the right place so our bed lines up perfectly with our wheel. Now we're going to turn our efforts into actually boxing in these channels which provides extra support that we lost by cutting the chunk out. So we'll take some measurements, transfer them onto the steel, cut them out on the bandsaw, tack them in place and once we're done with that, we'll grab the bed, throw it back onto this frame to just to, to test fit everything to make sure it lines up properly and no more adjustment is needed. If we're happy with that, we'll take the bed off and then final weld everything and we're good to go. Well, we got all the channels boxed in and they are looking pretty good. There's one that I wanna redo, which is this one over here. All the others are roughly three inches wide and this one's two and a half. I think I just forgot to cut out a little sliver of this chunk that we welded in. Our next step is we can take the bed, test fit it on here to see, just to make sure that everything is lined up how we think it will be. And then if everything goes to plan, we can final weld these in and be done with the boxing in section. Now we have the bed back on the frame and what I did off camera is I leveled the frame rails and I also leveled the bed so everything is sitting exactly how it should be and how it will be going down the road. So what I did is I took some scrap metal right here and I crawled underneath 
put it up against a cross member and I marked on the frame where I have to build the body mount. That way I have something to reference later on when we get to the point of making body mounts for the bed. Now that we've checked that the cross members line up with the channels in the frame, we can remove the bed, put it on our old frame for the time being, and fully weld in these channels. Well, there we have it. All of our channels are fully welded in. And now I won't bore you with it, but I am going to grind off the top of the welds so it blends in a little bit better with the frame. Some of my welds, they turned out absolutely fantastic, while others, well, let's just say I'm glad I'm taking a grinder to them. Anyways, that is a wrap for this video. If you didn't already subscribe, I encourage you to so you don't miss any future videos. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, and if you have any comments, questions, or whatever, leave a comment down below, and I'll catch you in the next one.